Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to more celebrities reading mean tweets. I love this series, honestly. I wish that Jimmy Kimmel pumped out more of these videos. They're just so, so funny. To see these celebrities who, you know, basically live in ivory towers, you know, they're just, everyone around them is like a yes person usually. They love them. They're constantly like showering them with praise and stuff. To see these celebrities reading negative stuff about them is brilliant. Just to see, get a glimpse into who they really are, how they take, you know, negative feedback. Some take it well, some roll with it. Others just get really, really annoyed. It's brilliant, I love it. By the way, guys, if you enjoy my videos, definitely check out the Patreon. Lots of exclusive content on there, full-length movie reactions, and we get to chat one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, definitely check out the Patreon. But yeah, let's get to the video. Let's go. Brian Cox. Ah, oh, that's the guy from Succession. This looks like a super gruff, sophisticated ball sack. <laughs> I would hate having a combo with Chris Rock. He is one loud ass black individual. Jeez. This person is a psychic. Matthew Broderick can eat a d he peaked at 17. <laughs> Kevin Bacon is what Ryan Reynolds would look like if he did a ton of heroin. <laughs> Idris Elba is ugly. There, I said it. You. <laughs> they should cast me in all of Dan Levy's parts because I'm annoying and gay, but not completely insufferable, and I'm also hotter than him. <laughs> Nothing says gay rights like this tweet. Kirsten Dunst looks like if Jewel got cosmetic surgery, but then got hit by a bus the day they removed the bandages. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Andrew Garfield has fat people hands, or at least the hands of a creepy school custodian. <laughs> that is untrue and incredibly inventive. Fat people hands, not really. Inventive and creative. And also, Jason Momoa is a creep. <laughs> no one should feel anything in their ovaries for him. Uh, <laughs> you. I hope that fat George Clooney is selling loads of tequila right now. I am. Why is Salma Hayek trending? Is her titties out? <laughs> no. Where's the camera? John Stewart sucks. China's. <laughs> Come on. I love it when they find it funny, when they genuinely see the humor in it. It doesn't have a. You're thinking of Florida. Why does Halle Berry's knee look like the face of that guy who came out of the book that Harry found in the restricted section at the library at Hogwarts? <laughs> Very clever. You need to stop looking at my knees. Like, <laughs> the show is up here, from here to here. <laughs> the worst part about Curb Your Enthusiasm is they portray Larry as fault. <laughs> no one wants to Larry David. You know what? Couldn't agree more. Westbrook dresses like a 70-year-old uncle with a timeshare in Florida. <laughs> I'm a fresh 70-year-old, I tell you that much. John Morant need a chill. He be going dummy. Still a soft-ass bitch made goofy, though. <laughs> that don't really hurt my feelings. Jalen Green has the basketball IQ of a baby hamster. <laughs> Damn. Evan Mobley looks like he growls at people in public. <laughs> I've never done that. Darius Garland dresses like Sade. He better ball out. <laughs> <laughs> you Sadiq Bey, you Sadiq. Uh, that's a good play on words, I guess. It is, it is. When we're gonna start taking about Anthony Edwards' problem? He don't run, he don't defend, he don't rebound, he don't shoot. I mean, we can start taking about it right now, whatever that means. Oh, uh, yeah, because he, he left out the L. This one's all cap, so. <laughs> you, Franz Wagner, you <laughs> bitch ass, nobody's player. <laughs> At Jalen Suggs, your turkey probably dry as <laughs> No, it's not. Andre Drummond has a look of a musician who decided to give pro basketball a try in his early to mid 30s. <laughs> 
I love how clever some people are, you know? So witty with the insults. If I see DeJounte Murray one more time on the NBA floor, my kids will not have dinner tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why Jared Allen look like Shaggy when he run? <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see it. <laughs> Scotty Barnes looked like a big ass middle schooler who ain't hit puberty yet. <laughs> but I still got a baby face, bro. You got a cute little baby face, bro. Zach Levine looks like he eats Vienna sausages straight out of a can. I don't eat pork, dog. Tyrese Halliburton plays like Steve Urkel when he was dominating that episode of Family Matters. Well, I used to watch Family Matters on Nick at Night, so I know exactly the episode you're talking about. <laughs> Jeez, how high are the shorts? And those glasses? Wow. And uh, I think that's more of a compliment than anything. Why does Gary Payton look like an aged Kanye West? Don't ever say that again. Hey, I'm nothing like me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. Pretty. Hi, I'm Tom Brady, and I'm a crybaby, and I have a butthole in my chin. <laughs> I imagine Patrick Mahomes' barber is a superhero who has to run out and save the world every time he gets halfway through Mahomes' haircut. This dude, Travis Kelsey, looks like the Notre Dame leprechaun. <laughs> Corey Clement, hold my <laughs> Nah, you hold mine. <laughs> Joey Bosa's nose is so big, it looks like he's been lying every day for his whole life. That's a good one. <laughs> Creativity. Pray for Devin Funches. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just sucks. <laughs> Sony Michelle, more like Panasonic Michelle so far. Todd Gurley is a snowflake loser bitch. <laughs> the Lord. You Tom Brady, you fat bitch. I hope you cry. <laughs> I do cry too. Why does Jay Ajayi running? look like Forrest Gump running when he had the braces on his legs. That's up. <laughs> Clay Matthews is the type of dude who farts into a bottle of Sunny D, puts it in the fridge, and then consumes it the next morning. Ugh, oh my God. Jared Goff throws a football like he's got a in his pants. Mike Orvin looks like every old timey tablecloth in America got together and had an orgy <laughs> to make that outfit. <laughs> Bradshaw, you ass-kissing wuss. Your brain fell out with your hair, chicken <laughs> Why don't you bite my angry rebel <laughs> you, Tom Brady. I hope your dog eats chocolate and gets really sick and throws up on your sock. That's <laughs> up. Hilarious, man. These videos never disappoint. They never let me down. They're always funny. There's at least 25 to 30% of pure creativity. But then some of the, the real savage ones are great too. Like that first Tom Brady one, like the one that called him a crybaby. Oh man, oh my God. And some of the NBA players look genuinely annoyed like they did but then some of them really took it quite well like especially compared to some of the other nba celebrity mean tweets videos where like 90 percent of them get really kind of hurt and annoyed by the comments truly truly funny jimmy kimmel please please keep putting these videos out thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one